Well, this is part two of the video talking about our leak issue in our slide. And I wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on in here. Um, we're preparing the RV to take it over to service because we think it's going to get in today or tomorrow, but we have to get everything out from under the bed. And in doing so, we have discovered um, even more mold. Um, there's Leslie. And we all got gloves on, so we're taking precautions from the mold. And so Scout's uh, travel tank usually stays into the bed under here and his little box over there that holds his travel cage has mold all over it. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, if this video was scratch and sniff. Oh God, it smells like we just like, emptied the washing machine through our clothes in here for a while yeah. and left. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very moldy, mildewy smell. Um, so we're gonna take this out. We're taking all the precautions. I'm gonna take this box and I'm just gonna take it straight outside I mean, and you can smell it when you open the compartment, but we couldn't smell it even laying here Just laying in bed. Just laying in bed. It's only when you lift this door. Yeah Man, yeah. just his travel stuff which rarely gets used Christmas decorations, which are just now coming out mm -hmm. So and some motorcycle my Harley boots <laughs> Molded yeah, so motorcycle stuff is in there so this thing gets open once or twice a year i mean yeah that's why we're just now seeing it for the and the only time. reason we knew there was issue at all is because you stepped in the wet spot over there by the by the yeah. bed otherwise we still wouldn't we know still wouldn't know well now we're messing around underneath the bed and i think see if you can see over here you can see that you know the bed has this the bed has this wood right here and so there's about a gap of that much between yeah. the bottom of the bed and the actual floor in here because there's rollers under there when the slide goes in and out. You see over here, it's got that lip. So underneath the bed storage up top there, um, the stuff underneath that storage is actually just sitting right on the carpet. But the stuff under here is sitting on that wood, which is lifted off of the, off of the carpet. So um, I don't think we're going to find too much maybe up toward the front maybe right at the seam of where it comes together maybe but i think everything up toward the front is safe but we will carefully examine everything well we now have everything from under the bed under the rv and uh it's a good thing we don't have anything else because it's full look at this like you can't even see light to the other side on this joker it is full show you the other side real fast yeah same over here i mean you can see a little bit of daylight through there but that is it it is it is maxed out it was a little bit of a chore nothing under the main part of the bed storage seemed like it was uh damaged or had mold none of it smelled i think all that's savable so really the only things that we lost we lost my gun cleaning kit we lost a pair of leslie's boots we lost some owner's manuals to some things we lost the box that scouts um, cage goes in and we lost some uh, we had some reflex it that was stored down there for winter time we'll hang those up in the windows uh, some of the plexiglass from from scouts cage has some some mold on it that's cleanable so we didn't lose that so we lost a few things but not terrible um, it's definitely worse than I thought it was uh, growing mold wise I thought it was just a little bit but you really tell, can't tell till you get that out and I'm sure once they take that carpet out and take the, that flooring out and stuff man um, I'll be interested to see what it looks like I'm gonna request to be able to go into the bay and film while they're doing it I don't know if they're gonna let me do it or not but um, if I can bring you along with me I will we'll see um, today the RV is going into the shop yes phase one so, um, Keystone wants some more information. Mm -hmm. They want some pictures. Rightfully so. Yeah. To get those pictures, the slide has to be removed. Yeah. Which is, which is six hours of the original 18 hours of labor mm -hmm. that we talked about. It's going to take six hours to get the slide out. So we're going to take it in today. They're going to take the slide out and take some pictures. Yeah and send them over to Keystone and see if Keystone's going to authorize the remaining rest of the work, work and supplies. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll let me in there later today or early tomorrow. Um, I did request that um, 
that we would be able to go into mm -hmm. the bay and do some filming because yeah. I'd like to see. Yeah, I want to see yeah. for myself, not just whatever pictures they take. I'd like yeah. to actually see it. Well, A, I'm curious what our RV looks like without the slide mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. And B, I'd like to see underneath that carpeting into the wood and actually see the extent Stand of the up. damage yeah. from the inside. Yeah. So hopefully they will uh, let us do that. Yeah. We'll know more at the end of the day today on the extent of the damage mm -hmm. and we'll probably know within the next two days what Keystone says about whether they're gonna help us cover it or not. Yeah. A long day. So we did get to go back to the RV. We got to see the slide out. Uh, we got to see all the damage. So we'll, um, we'll throw that in an overlay so you can see that while we're talking mm -hmm. here for a second. But it looked like that on the bedroom slide, for some reason, on the rail system that pulls the slide in and out, um, they didn't put sealant on the top of that. There's a gasket inside of there. Yeah, relying on the gasket. That is supposed to keep water out, but there was a failure in that gasket, and it wasn't. If, if there had been silicone over the top of that and the gasket had failed, well, first of all, water wouldn't have gotten in there mm -hmm. to, to cause it to yeah. fail anyway. But it would, it would have just taken one little bead of of silicone, I yeah. think, to keep from water from getting in there. Which we will do for now. And we will, but so when I check the seals every so often, I actually check them every, almost every time we move, mm -hmm. I look yeah. at all the seals and stuff, but there is never any sealant there, so I had no idea that, that it, it should be. in best interest. It, yeah, so, that, um, and we'll show you a, a picture too of what yeah. we're talking about of, of where that is and where there is no sealant. And I actually went on to the, to the Facebook forum for our model of RV, mm -hmm and asked others if there's had sealant because all the other slides have sealant at the bottom at the, the at the same spot where those mechanisms are but this yeah. one on the bedroom slide didn't so yeah. i i assumed that they just missed it on our particular rv yeah but when i put it on the on the facebook forum everybody's answering back they don't have yeah. sealant on theirs either yeah so apparently they didn't seal the bedroom slides yeah. for this model yeah because the texts say they typically don't because because the gas they got the gasket there and that shit but if that gasket doesn't do its job yeah moisture gets in there eats away yeah gets through. and so you can see by the amount of damage to that flooring that uh it's been going on for quite a while yeah and um and luckily we thought it was gonna be a lot worse luckily it did not damage any of the wood or the carpeting or anything in the actual bedroom yeah the the actual walking space floor. Yeah, it was just the slide. So so just the flooring mm -hmm. and the carpeting and everything has to be replaced in the slide. Yeah. The slide goes back in, everything gets sealed. Um, so all that information and pictures and everything went over to Keystone today. Yeah. And we're waiting to see, you know, how, you know, back from Keystone if and how much kind of they're going to help uh, yeah. cover. Um, because it is kind of a unique situation. We are out of warranty, but the issue apparently happened before we were out of warranty and it looks like it was a manufacturing defect in the gasket. So I don't know. We'll yeah. see. Um, it's going to be probably two to three days mm -hmm. for the fix, which is faster than what we thought. Yeah. So we may actually still be able to make it over Fort Myers yeah. for a week to 10 days. Uh, but right now we're in a hotel and uh it's it's i mean it's a hotel yeah. nothing fancy yeah but um scout is with us yeah. <laughs> and his <laughs> travel carrier and his he so i'll show you scout he looks <laughs> super <laughs> excited about being in a hotel room and um we're not actually supposed to have pets in here so we had to smuggle scout in yeah <laughs> all right i'll show you scout hi buddy can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Super excited about being here with us. We'll keep you updated. Uh, so probably next time that it flips, we'll be um, getting back to our RV. Yes. We'll let you know. Well, well, we finally made it down to Southern Florida. Finally. All the repairs are complete. We were off the road for a total of 10 days. Yes. Not fun at all, man. Not fun at all. Felt a little longer than 10 days. Uh, it felt like forever. <laughs> <sighs> well, sitting stationary in a parking lot drags time. 
Yeah, and we were waiting on it. I mean, there had to be communication between Gander RV and between uh, Keystone. Keystone. And so we had to wait a couple of days for that communication to happen. Um, so basically they got us in on a Tuesday. Actually, the Tuesday that we were supposed to leave to come here. Yeah. To Fort Myers, Florida, they got us into the bay. For diagnosis. For diagnosis, which means they had to take the slide out and take pictures and send them over to Keystone. Mm -hmm. Keystone got back really fast. Yeah. And um, authorized that first six hours of labor to, to take the pictures and see how much the damage was, try to diagnose how the damage happened, yeah. to see kind of who's gonna take responsibility for, for this issue. So they had us in there and we got out yesterday, which was Friday. So we were in the bay for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days we were in there. Um, Keystone did authorize some of the work. It was really, um, it was good because initially we thought they were gonna have to replace the flooring in the bedroom. The whole floor. And the yeah. slide. But ended up they only had to replace just the, the slide just, yeah. floor and the slide carpeting. Mm -hmm. And so it was less labor than what we originally thought, mm -hmm. which was good. Yeah. And so Keystone authorized basically two thirds of the cost. Yes. Which I think is fair. Yeah. Because there really is, I mean, in pictures you don't get to really see it. Yeah. And there is really just no way of knowing whether it was an issue at the factory or if it was a, a, a seal that, that I didn't catch uh, checking them. Um, of course, I'm a layperson. I don't. I don't know. Well, when when our tech was showing us the tracking when he took the bolt, the screws out, yeah, and they were rusted out. So water had been in there, been, and that part was never sealed. Yeah, it did have a gasket inside there. Yeah, and that gasket couldn't take the amount of water that was making its way through there. So that yeah, kind so of broke that down. The gasket failed. Yeah. And then those little cups that are supposed to catch moisture that does a little bit get in there, mm -hmm. couldn't handle the amount of rainwater that was coming through Once there. Once that gasket failed. Yeah. So yeah. that's why it was so saturated and moldy. Yeah. So it was less hours, so less cost, which is good. They yeah. covered uh, two thirds of that. So the whole entire cost of the bill was just over two thousand dollars. Yeah. And so our portion of that at at Gander was about six hundred. It was five forty. Yeah, yeah. So after all said and done, after the um, after our cost and our hotel stay, we we're out about seven hundred and fifty dollars, which which I'll take it. Could have been a, a <laughs> lot worse. Yeah. Um, of course, could have been a lot better, but. Um, I mean, this is why we talk about on our channel that you have to have a cushion. You have to have a backup plan because if you're really tight on money, paycheck to paycheck, yeah. or you don't have much in savings, something like this, especially if the manufacturer doesn't help you out because they didn't have to. No, they did not have to help. We're us. out of warranty. I'm grateful that they helped. And there is no, there was no way. I mean. To the tech, it looked like it started before the warranty would have expired. Yeah. Uh, to us, it looked like that too because of the extent of the damage. Yeah, that, that but didn't happen in two months. There is no way to prove it. Yeah. And Keystone could have just said, hey, look, you're out of warranty and you're out of luck. Yeah. And so, um, very grateful that Keystone mm -hmm. stepped up and helped us out with yeah. that. So, uh, so we'll take that. We want to thank several people who helped us out over at Keystone, Sam, Steve, Darcy. Yeah awesome team um very patient with yeah because we were Cause i'm sure every time we called they were like oh yeah. not them again we were calling and emailing sending but pictures we wanted this to go as fast as possible yeah. so we didn't sit you know and too long. um none of them ever got frustrated with us they yeah. were always very responsive very polite very yeah. courteous um so customer service over at keystone mm -hmm. top notch um and then at gander um, Chuck. I know they're glad to see us yeah. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck over at Gander RV in Bartow, Florida, who's in the service department, who was handling our case. Andre, who did the, the work, work on the slide, yeah. did an awesome job. They're rock stars over there. Um, very I, helpful, very polite, energetic. Yeah, very cool people. Because we've seen some people where you could just they give <laughs> off a sense that they could care less. Or you're putting them out. Yeah, you're an inconvenience, you're a hindrance, let them just do their job and get the heck out at five. Yeah. But these people were not. They were very upbeat, polite the whole time. Yeah. 
and very awesome. They stayed. Like they really enjoy working there. Yeah, and they 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 communicated with us. We yes. didn't have to like call and check up on stuff. No. They would call us and they would let us know. They would give us updates on on what was happening between them and Keystone, and um, it really went as smooth as it could have went. Yes, I believe because yes. both of those teams were so great and yeah. talking to each other and working with each other and working with us that it just went. It went better than I thought it would go. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be more <laughs> painful. It was painful yeah. enough, so. And then um, Kevin, his attack, who helped us out with the with the tail light the there at the end. On the light. So yeah. thank you all. So I know that every one of you were curious about what this was gonna cost us, how this was gonna impact our travels, what we were gonna do. So now you know, um, it's all done. We're down, yep. and we did miss Fort Lauderdale completely. Yeah. And we missed the first four days of. Uh, Fort Myers. Fort Myers yeah. down mm -hmm. here. But we're down here. We'll be down here for 10 days. And um, so the big question now is, are we going to stay in this RV? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to the Tampa show. We're going to look. If there's a super great deal, um, yeah, we probably will very strongly consider trading in this RV. Um, and then the other question is, will we stay with Keystone? And the answer is maybe. Maybe. I don't know. They have a lot of models that I like. Yeah. Um, so, we'll and, see. And we are, we are big fans of the customer service at Keystone. Yes. Um, and, and look, I know that, that some of you are watching and going, man, that thing's a, a dud. You need to get out of it and don't go Keystone anymore. But really, it's a crapshoot. You could have, you could be we in could this situation. We could have issues with another brand. You could, yeah, you're absolutely right. You could be in this situation with any manufacturer because every manufacturer has issues. Cool. They're built by humans, humans aren't perfect, and stuff happens. And since ours has been built, they made modifications yeah. to some of the issues that we were having. So, damn the luck that we bought it before <laughs> yeah. they figured some of those out and changed their pr the way they produce them. Yeah. So, you know, the newer models may be kinder to us. Yeah. And, and you know, you don't, like and I said. And we've learned. Yeah. We, we now learn about vents yep. that we didn't know before so when we're if we start looking we know exactly what we're going to pay attention to now yeah so. and we are always talking about and everybody is always talking about what goes wrong with their rvs mm -hmm. but in the in the manufacturer's defense there's a lot of stuff that goes right yeah i mean most stuff works most of the time and which is is really impressive because you bounce this thing down the highway thousands of miles yeah you know there's so many moving parts and mechanisms and and all that stuff that and it's just amazing of how much of it actually does work, work. properly most of the time yeah so it is it's inconvenient it sucks when stuff happens but it's all part of the rv life man yeah, it comes with the territory yeah so if you're gonna get into this lifestyle it's a part of it man yeah it's frustrating yeah but it's <laughs> It's our only frustration. It really is. Once we get somewhere and we're set up, like now we're set back up, everything's working properly, all of our stress is gone again, and we're back to normal. Yeah. So it's good. Again, thank you to everybody who helped who has us out. had a hand in the whole repair and yeah. customer service part as of it. As painful as it was, you all made it tolerable, and we truly appreciate you. And yes. we appreciate all of you watching. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We are looking so forward to getting mm -hmm. back to our normal routine. Yes. And we'll take you along for all of our upcoming journeys. <laughs> and um, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.